Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. I'm excited today to paint a paper white with you. We're gonna be using a reusable teaching guide. We're gonna see the whole view of what we're gonna paint right here, along with the colors, the folk art multi-surface colors and the one stroke brushes. So the first thing I want you to do is we're gonna to go to the back side and practice right on my actual brush strokes, each stroke along with the steps that tell you what to do, which is what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. So we're gonna pull over our project that we're gonna be painting on and we're gonna go first and pick up the, I've got all the paints out here, so let me share those with you. I have um, daffodil yellow, citrus green. I have moon yellow, citrus green, sap green, wicker white, and licorice. And so the first thing we're gonna do is take our 12 flat, you can read right here, and see I number it. So I want you to think about that as we go here. We're gonna double load the wicker white with a touch of licorice. Now I'm gonna bring this over here and work it in really good because we want this to be a soft gray, not a licorice. Okay, so see how if I work it in back and forth, I'll get that nice little light shade of gray. All right, so I dip the tip. Now I'm gonna practice right here to show you. We're gonna go right here and see the gray and make sure that it's like you want it to be, or it looks like my color that I have stroked there before you get started. I also want you to take and fold a paper towel so that we can dampen it and have an eraser to wipe off that or a baby wipe, okay? So let's go back, I'm gonna move this again. Let's go back and let's go right over these strokes. We're gonna come up, I steady my little finger so I can go up and back down. Let's do that again and back down. So there's one, two, and three. Now what I want you to see, I don't know how well you can see it, but it's really clear right there for you. With some flowers, I think if you've been watching me, you might have seen on some flowers, we have this threesome, this triangle. And, the, and this triangle goes right here. It's gonna go right here on top of that first one. Okay, so let's wipe it off and let's practice that again. All right, so I've got this nice white ready. I'm gonna dip some, stroke it. And what we're gonna do right here is go one, back down, two, and three. I'm gonna pick up fresh white and then we put four, five, and six on top, all right? So the next thing you're gonna see is in, in the middle of this right here, in the middle of this, we're gonna do this little stroke right here. And so I'm going to, I can pick a teeny bit of citrus up and work that in. And I'm gonna go right in here, but you don't have to worry about it, it says all the colors right here. Two, see I'm just pushing it. I can just get the very corner of this brush and not push down, you wanna stay up on the chisel. And remember this is the chisel, all right? So after you practice that, you can practice it right there. And when we get ready to do the center, we're just gonna take our script liner and do a white stem in the middle. And you already have citrus there, right? So let's take the one, I mean the two script liner and we're gonna come straight out here, all right? And then I'm gonna put the moon yellow right here. And so that's exactly what you see here. So it's gonna be clear for you as a reference. We do have a side view here sometimes. And so with the side view, we're doing all these strokes here. See, one, two, 
three, and you can do this gray and white or a little bit of citrus on it. The idea is you just want to be able to see it. And I'm going to come out of here with some points because you're just doing the side view. And then let's take the liner, two script liner, and we're going to put some yellow in the middle a little bit here. And then let's get some white. And it's what I did right in here, see? This is the two script liner with just wicker white. And we're coming across here, all right? So I just wanted to make sure that we're practicing that so we feel comfortable with that. And before we start over here, I'm gonna come over here and use our angle brush and let's just do a long stem, a long leaf. It looks, and it's got stems and leaves here. So we've dampened our brush, we lay it on the paper towel. All right, we're gonna pick up the two colors, the citrus and the sap. Right here is gonna tell you that. Then we're gonna work this in, back and forth, back and forth. Um, what you always have to worry about with an angle brush, it's not a worry, but you have to think about it, is that we're gonna have um, on the toe, what color we want on the toe and the heel. And so I'm gonna pull this stroke across here and I'm gonna lead with, I'm gonna lead with the citrus and get a long slender leaf. And the beauty about the angle brush is you get a nice point, pressure lift. So at the end of each one of these leaves, long slender leaves, you're gonna have a point so you don't have to worry about that. I also want you to leave this here so you can remind yourself um, of what, what we're doing. Remind yourself of the stroke. Okay, so see how we've got this all ready for you? So we're just gonna keep picking up more paint, work it in. Every once in a while you can get a little bit of medium, but our, my surface is real smooth. It's base coated with multi-surface, so it's they have a really nice smooth texture to it. All right, so I'm gonna pull these long stems down and we're using just the toe, okay, right here. All right, so I just put some in here and then we can add more stems if we need them. All right, so let's pick up some more. Now, it might be easier for you to turn this on the side and then put pressure and stand. And these blades or leaves that we're gonna put on here, they are pretty strong and straight. Sometimes you'll see on tulips and irises, they bend a little bit. These are pretty straight coming up. All right. And there again, I might just put the toe just that little bit of toe, and I can restroke because this one got a little dry. Okay. There we go. So those were pretty easy. That part just takes practice on using this brush. So what I want to share with you is that we don't just come down to this hole, like the chisel, because see, if you put a flat brush, it's straight across, and this angle's been cut away. So normally with a flat brush, we touch, tilt, and then drag. Well, this one, we can touch, push pressure, and then slide. So it's easier for you to use. All right, so let's go back to our 12, and we're gonna pick up wicker white and a touch. We already have a touch over here, but I'm gonna do it again. So back and forth, back and forth with lots of pressure, a little bit more white, and then we're gonna keep picking up white. We don't have to usually pick up too much more gray, okay? Which would be the licorice. All right, so let's do one here first. We're gonna come up and back down. Remember, we need the triangle. I do these sometimes when I'm doing orchids, we have a nice triangle like this. All right, now I picked, I'm just picking up little bits of white. See, dip a teeny bit of white and be comfortable about moving it. It's fine to move this surface around so that you're comfortably, whether you're a lefty or a right-handed, to put those in. 
Now I'm going to go ahead while I'm doing this and put a few more. Here's a side view. We're going to do the back ones here. Dip a little bit of white. See the gray still there. And a little bit more. Now the teaching guide you're going to be happy with because the reusable teaching guide is made so you can practice my actual size brush strokes as you're learning. And it helps with that learning curve. Okay, do you see this? I'm getting, there's my triangle. So now I'm going to fit the second triangle in. Right here. Here. And those all are on top. See, I, the beauty about this is if I'm unhappy with this, I can come out here and make it a little bit larger because I have a big gap there. Do you see that? All right, and one more. Okay, so you can check this out. We might have, have a little bud in here. But let's do one more in the center before. And now is about the time I would get a little bit more of that gray tint mix that we made. Okay. One, two, three, and one, two, three. So now we put the pretty centers. Okay. Now in the middle, I told you on this one, I put a little bit of citrus green on one side and wicker white on the other. I work this in and that kind of already does the center for you. And we're going to do little teeny, like a teardrop, little teeny rounded edges on here. This one, we're going to put right in the middle. And here, if you just pick up enough paint you, that you can see it on top of the petals behind, it'll make it really nice. If you're reminding yourself, go right here and look at those and do those strokes, it'll tell you right there. All right, now let's put our stems. Okay, this is a two script liner again. We're gonna just get the, oh, let's, let's wipe this. We're gonna take the wicker white, thick wicker white, and I want these stamens to be in different directions. So some came down and some came to the side. So we're gonna put it here and pull it, and it is thick white paint, okay? And come over here to the side a little bit and down. All right, now all you have to do here is put some moon yellow on the tips. But we've got to finish our side view over here. So I can put the moon yellow right there. And I did bring this uh, two script liner cleaned up and did all white. And I'm going to come around here, pull a few strokes down in here, so you see a nice side view. And we're going to sign it, and we're done. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stoke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on, everybody, let's paint.